How to dress to look thinner. Slimming fashion tips that actually work. If you are looking for tips and tricks to help you learn how to dress to look thinner and how to make yourself look skinny in pictures, then you have come to the right place, my dear. I did make a video a couple of years ago on the same topic, but since then you guys have requested for the same video to be made with an actual plus size woman. So here I am with new and improved tips with a confident plus size woman, Olga. Olga is a very popular blogger and she looks super confident in all her pictures on Instagram. Do check her out. Her handle is echo underscore mass. Welcome to Blush With Me, Thank Olga. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so at the first glance, you look extremely confident in all your pictures. What is it that really works for you? For me, it is understanding what to wear for your body type right. and how to pose. And I actually remember watching one of your videos a couple of years ago, and I definitely learned some tips and tricks. So I'm very excited to show you how to pose for a plus size. Oh, so she has learned something. <laughs> Blush with me as well. No, but you have been there for a while and I've Absolutely. seen your stuff, which is amazing. <laughs> So you will see Olga in not just one, but two videos because like she said, you need to understand what to wear for your body type, which is what we will discuss today. And the second one will be about how to pose for plus size bodies. This is huge help, Olga. Thank you so much for collaborating with me because this is not just for me, but for thousands of other women out there who need more body confidence videos. So. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you know, whoever comes to blush with me has to say, welcome, welcome to blush, blush with, with me. me. That was amazing. <laughs> Number one is to define your waist. If you want to know how to dress to look thinner, finding ways to define your waist is a great first step. This helps to create the illusion that you have that perfect hourglass figure with curves exactly in the right place, even if you don't. Well, for me, the reason I have this belt is because it brings attention to the high waist because I am not only voluptuous, I'm also five feet tall. So that creates an illusion that my waist is higher, so then I look taller, obviously. Nice, good tip. So opt for high waist bottoms that are made with mostly structured fabrics. Tuck loose fitted shirts into pants and skirts. Clinch the dresses with a small belt. Nothing too big, nothing too broad on your waist. Also consider wearing shapewear. This brings us to our next point, shapewear. Next tip is to wear clothes that are your correct size. Contrary to popular belief, wearing clothes that are too big or too small for your frame doesn't always make you look slimmer. So bulky clothes are more likely to make you look bigger than you actually are and sizing down has its own problems. What are those? For example, back fat, muffin tops, and ladies, we all have it, cellulite. <laughs> so it's very important to choose clothing that fits true to size, right? Absolutely, and also when you shop, we always have this issue that we think, oh, I'm gonna lose this couple pounds. I'll buy this no. size smaller. It's in, still in the closet oh my God. with a tag on. I brought some clothes today <laughs> with a tag on still, so don't do it, buy your own size. It happens with me as well. <laughs> Seriously. So choose the right undergarments. When it comes to finding clothes that make you look slimmer, your undergarments are just as if not more important than your outfit. Like Olga mentioned, tight bras draw attention to your back fat and tight panties can cause rolls, muffin tops and cellulite can also show through clothes that are very tight. So take some time to get fitted properly. Invest in good body shaper. This is very important ladies. If you want to know how to dress to look thinner, shapewear is about to become your new best Friend. But I suggest, like Ramita said, to invest in it because you can wear it daily. I used to wear things that would not highlight my shape just to hide my cellulite, my fat, my rolls. I all love it all, by the way. Uh, but now with the shape where I can highlight the things I want to highlight and I can wear tighter clothes, I can show my curves and hide the imperfections of my body. But I suggest wearing it every day because it can highlight the parts you want to be highlighted and hides the imperfections of your body. Next tip is to avoid rounded shoes. What? While they may look cute, rounded toed shoes 
do nothing but make your legs look short and stumpy. Opt for pointed toe shoes because they elongate your legs and give the illusion that they are longer than they actually are. See what a difference it makes? You don't have to wear heels. As long as they're a little more pointed in front, they will elongate you. Also with your everyday jeans, try to wear skinny jeans and pair it with heels. If you're a fan of skinny jeans but feel self-conscious about the width of your legs, then avoid flats or flip-flops at all costs. Even just one inch heel helps. You can make your legs look longer by ensuring that your denim is about ankle length or slightly longer but avoid boot cuts and pairing them with sexy pair of pointed toe heels will only elongate your legs more. Next tip is to dress in one color, any color except white. When you dress in two contrasting colors or different prints, the eye is naturally drawn to the area where these two colors come together, which is typically at your waistline. Now this can be a good thing if you have a natural hourglass figure, but if you want to elongate your already boxy frame, then dressing in one color is a simple way to lengthen your body to create one sweeping look. Cover up with a long outerwear. If you live in cooler climates and want to find ways to stay warm without adding that unnecessary bulk to your look, then sweeping outerwear will help lengthen your frame. Again, pair it with skinny jeans and pointy-toed shoes or boots and leave your coat open or cinch at the waist for a more flattering look when you really need to bundle up. Now wearing clothing with vertical stripes is a thing of the past. Vertical or horizontal. Wear thinner stripes versus broader stripes. Broad vertical stripes will make you look bigger than thin horizontal stripes. It's no secret that horizontal stripes can make you look wider. But that doesn't mean you need to avoid stripes completely. You just need to be more strategic when wearing them. Remember that stripes tend to stand out. So if you are trying to figure out how to dress to look thinner, opt for thinner, smaller stripes, especially in dark colors, and avoid dressing yourself in the same pattern from head to toe. While stripes can certainly be slimming, you want to accentuate your waist. For example, a black top tucked into a pair of pinstripe pants or skirt can elongate your legs and make you look slimmer instantly. My next tip is to avoid the current trend of pleated skirts and dresses. While pleats can be sexy and feminine when worn correctly, the moment they start to part and open up, they immediately add bulk to your frame, especially right below the belted area. There are certain things you can do to avoid this, but many of these techniques have the potential to make your waist look thicker. If you are looking for clothes to make you look slimmer, then my advice is to avoid pleats completely. Opt for a high waist jeans. If you want to draw attention away from your tummy and the muffin top or your thighs, then ditch the low waist jeans. Opt for a high waist jeans to add height to your frame. Choose a dark wash with a high waist. I said high waist again and pair it with pointy toed shoes yet again, ensuring that the bottom of your jeans hits the shoe for maximum effect. Avoid light colored jeans and pants. White and light wash jeans and pants have potential to make your legs look thicker. So if you are blessed with big thighs, always choose darker colors as they can have more slimming effect. Another simple but very effective tip to teach you how to dress to look thinner is to wear v-neck tops as they help elongate your upper body by adding that balance to your hips and thighs. This is an especially great tip for girls with bigger bust line as v-neck tops will naturally draw the eye away from the problem areas and towards the neckline instead. You don't have big boobs? 
<laughs> Don't worry. Invest in a good push-up bra. This can go a long way. It will also elongate the appearance of your waist. Now choose your accessories wisely. My next tip to teach you to dress to look thinner is to accessorize. Necklaces, earrings, belts and bracelets, they can all draw the eye away from the problem areas while accentuating your best features. For example, long necklace can take the focus away from big hips. Big earrings draw attention away from your upper body and towards your face. Big bracelets are great at hiding big upper arms by bringing the eyes towards your wrist. And belts help define your waist. And like I mentioned before, just be sure to avoid thick belts as they can cut your torso into half. And that can have the exact opposite effect of what you are looking for. As much as we all strive to follow the latest fat diets and workout regimes to help us shed the excess body weight so we can look and feel our best, many of us don't have the time or we don't get the exact results that we are hoping for or we just lack willpower to stick to our goals 100% of the time. And that is completely okay. Not all of us are meant to be size zero. And the sooner we accept this and learn to love our bodies we are in, the happier we will be. Every plus size girl is different. Whether you are a voluptuous plus size woman with sexy hourglass figure or a broad shouldered girl with absolutely no curves or a petite who has fallen off track with her weight loss goals or feels bloated or swollen, I am sharing ideas to help you learn how to dress to look thinner and look confident and show off your most attractive features that you already have. How did you like this video? Do you want to see how to pose for plus size women? Because I cannot wait to share it. This is going to be a life and confidence transforming video for you just as it is for my clients in person. I'm the kind of image coach that aims to shift your mindset. I first want you to make changes to find your beauty, love yourself, and then the rest of the process becomes much easier. Share this video and channel with your other friends. I'm sure you know tons of women who need this information. I love your comments, so do write to me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So much information, so many interesting videos. Subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> And don't forget to hit the like button. And yes, I am currently training Olga to become a YouTuber because she has some amazing content to share. And make sure to follow her Instagram page and mine because <laughs> <laughs> women like her are always an inspiration. I'm sure when you decided to be on Instagram, your first thought might have been this platform is filled with these beautiful skinny girls. Did you ever think Will there be space for me? Yes, you know, obviously you compare yourself to these beautiful women who are beautiful, but also you know that everything is changing, right. trends are different, and there's so many women out there that are different body types, right. and it's a place for everyone, online, offline, everywhere. Exactly, people want to see real women, they want to follow real women, and you are a real woman. So. I am a real woman. I've also realized that no matter what, my body changes all the time. Our body weight fluctuates, right. but I do have that confidence. So I wanted to share with my subscribers and future followers on YouTube, hopefully, because this lady's teaching me. So big reveal, stay tuned. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Olga, for coming today and thank joining me on this video. Thank you for having me, thank you. And I hope you will continue to Blush with me! <laughs>